Hi, everybody, and welcome to your February Family Day. I can't wait to get started on our new activity this month. We are going to have a lot of fun with watercolors. I hope you guys had a great time doing last month's Family Day activity. Those plates are coming in, and they look so good. I'm so excited for you guys to get them back. Today, I want to tell you guys what we're going to do. Your teachers should have brought you a packet that looks a lot like this. And we're going to work with something that you might not have worked with before. We're going to work with something called watercolors. Have you guys seen these? You might have seen them in your classroom or you might have worked with them before. But today I'm going to show you how to use watercolors. So let's open up our packet and see what we have here. Now, each of you will have a watercolor palette and a paintbrush. You should also have a family day packet. And inside your family day packet, there are all kinds of resources, crafts, activities that you all can do together. We like to put these family day packets together just for your information and just to give you all some different things to do and to read on. So be sure you look through that. Inside there, you should also have a canvas, one about this size or one about this size. So you should have either one of those two in there. And before you get started, you'll probably need paper towels, a cup of water to wash out your paintbrush and to activate your paints. And of course, your paintbrush and paint palettes. So are you ready? Let me ask you guys a question. Who likes to use their imagination? I bet all of you like to use your imagination because you're in Head Start. And being creative and using your imagination is a big part of what we do here. So I want us to use our imaginations and let's think of something that we can paint today. Now, our watercolors are a little bit different than regular paint. I bet you could tell that by looking at it. Let's look at our paint palette. Our paint's dry. If you use your paintbrush, there's no paint that comes on your paintbrush. It does it. Well, let me show you how to get your paint started. What you're going to do is you're going to use your paintbrush. You're going to put some water on it. And then you're going to put your wet paintbrush into your paint. You're just going to put it on the color that you want to use. See? You might need to get a little bit more water to activate your paint. You just want to rub your paintbrush into your paint. Oh, can you see it activating? I bet now I can paint with my black. Let's see here. Let's see. Let me see if I can get back. Oh, you know what? My black paint is on my canvas. That's what this is called. This hard piece of paper you have is called canvas. And this is special canvas. This is canvas just for watercolors. Because you want your paint to soak up on your hard piece of paper, on your canvas. So what you're going to do is you're going to use a lot of water. And be sure every time you switch colors, you rinse out your paintbrush, okay? So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to keep activating my paint. It's okay if it gets a little bit messy. And I'm going to keep making back and forth motions on my canvas. See? Look here. Now, your watercolor isn't going to be as bright. Well, it might be as bright, but it's not going to be like the paint you normally use. It's going to run together. You're not going to be able to make really defined lines, but that's what it's about. Watercolor helps you learn about mixing colors. Did you guys know that if you mix two colors together, you can create another color. Did you know that? For example, if you mix, rinse out my paintbrush really, really good. 
if you mix yellow and blue, you can get green. And if you mix red and blue, you get purple. Did you know that? Well, it looks like in your paint palette you have green, so let's make a little bit of purple. I'm gonna activate my red. I'm gonna show you. Activate my red. See, look here. See that? That's red as red can be, isn't it? Now, I'm gonna use a little bit of blue. Let's activate my blue. Might need a little bit more water for that blue. Let's activate my blue. Now watch. I'm gonna make purple. Right before your very eyes. Is that purple? Yes, that's purple. We just mixed colors. And if you mix red and yellow together, you'll get orange. See what other colors that you can mix together. Now, if you mix all the colors together, what do you think might happen? If you mixed all the colors together, you would probably get a brown or a green color. I don't know why that happens, but if you just mix one or two colors together, you might get a really pretty color. So let's get started and paint and come back and I'll show you my finished product. And I want you guys to take a picture of yours and send it to your teacher because I would love very much to post your pictures on Casey's Facebook page so everybody can see it. Okay, we'll come back in just a minute and I'll show you mine and then you can show me yours later when you do it, okay? Be right back. As I'm working on my picture, I thought I would pop back on here and talk about different ways you can use your paintbrush. You can use it in a back and forth motion. You can use it in circles and make different designs. See? See how the color is covering on my canvas? What are you painting today? See? What are you going to paint? And families, you can talk about position and direction here. That's something that the children are going to be learning about while they go to kindergarten. And if you have a toddler, you can just talk about, wow, let's go up and down and back and forth. You can do that. You don't necessarily have to talk about position and direction. But that is something that your child learns in Head Start. They learn what on top of something is, under something, beside, around, underneath. So lots of those words that you can incorporate into this activity it was just a good learning experience for them. So I am going to go around my purple with my black. Should I put something on top of the purple? See? Using those words will teach children position and direction. You can also use your fingers if you have a child who's too young to be interested in using a paintbrush, you guys can use your fingers. And you'll see the more you use your paintbrush or the more you use your fingers, the paint is being absorbed. That means it's soaking up on your canvas. That's what makes this kind of canvas so special. Okay, I'll be right back. You guys may be using your paints and realize you're running out of a color. Oh no, what can you do if you run out of a color? Because it looks like I may be running out of black. Well, all you do guys is put a little bit more water onto your canvas and you can make your colors go a little bit further. 
Are your colors running together like mine? I think that's what makes watercolor so beautiful. Is the colors running together. Now I've decided that I am going to make an owl. An owl. Does anybody know how an owl sounds? Has anybody ever seen an owl? Can you make an owl sound with me? An owl goes, hoo, hoo. They live at night. Well, they live in the day too, but they usually sleep at the daytime and they roam around at night. They are a nocturnal animal. That means they do most of their living at night. So if you've seen one during the day, you are really, really lucky because they usually don't come out till night. You might have heard of the term called a night owl. Well, that's where it comes from. So I'm going to make my canvas look like nighttime and I'm going to have an owl coming out at night to find some dinner. See, I'm using my imagination. What are you painting? Are you using your imagination too? I can't wait to see how they turn out. And as soon as I'm done with mine, I'm going to show you what mine looks like, okay? So be sure you have on those creative caps. So I'm going to keep painting and I'll be back. Okay, I think I'm done with mine. I'm going to take my creative cap off now. And I'm going to show you my picture. You remember what it looked like before? And now it's an owl sitting on a tree limb looking at the moon. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the family day this month. And I can't wait to see what you all came up with after you activated your watercolors. And I will see you soon. Oh, and I forgot, if you don't remember my name, I'm Lindsay. I'm the Family Engagement Specialist here at Kid Central. And I get to plan all these fun family days for you all to do. So stay tuned for next month. And I hope you have a great week. See you soon.